Hey guys, what is up? My name is Tom Spark. Today we're comparing two cases. The Samsung uh, S10 silicone case, and this is the Spigen or Spigen or Spigen S10 silicone case. Uh, it falls under Amazon Spigen silicone fit designed for Samsung Galaxy S10 case 2019. I'll put both of these cases down in the description down below. But the reason I'm doing this comparison is because like me, you might be wanting a silicon case for your Galaxy S10. Now this is a pretty sleek and sexy device, but it can be slippery with this back here. Um, so you probably do want to put a case on it, but you don't want to put anything that's too bulky, right? You probably want to put something that is kind of slender, but uh, offers good protection, but also is kind of grippy. So that's kind of why I tend to go for the silicon cases because they generally have a good grippiness, a kind of slimmer form factor. They're not too pricey and they're uh, pretty good looking. So here we have the Samsung case. This case kind of has like almost a uh, kind of a plasticky kind of uh, textured quality to it. As you can see, there's kind of like a texture there. Um, and it's pretty simple to be honest. This is kind of, it doesn't really have too much texture to it. It's just kind of grainy and kind of plasticky feeling. And then um, it's kind of got like this kind of plastic foundation here. And then we have the side uh, bumper, as you can see here for the buttons. Um, pretty easy to push there. Um, but for the most part, the case, it's pretty grippy. And it's, it's super, super, super sleek. As you can see here, there's not nothing here getting in the way. Um, the way it's designed right here, it makes it easy to kind of swipe on the phone. Um, plenty of room for cameras and everything. We could go ahead and put her in right here. Uh, very easy to put in as you can see and it looks pretty good on the phone. There you go. So as you can see, it doesn't get in the way of swiping really at all. Um, and overall on the phone, it looks really good. You can kind of tell that Samsung has very good precision with this case. They made this case and it fits the phone like a glove. This is a very thin case here and uh, it's really nice. Um, it's not gonna offer too much protection though, guys. As you can see, it is extremely thin uh, case. And so if you drop this bad boy on the ground, I'm not even really sure if it, you know, it will be able to uh, survive a drop. I don't know if this case is gonna give it any kind of protection at all. As you can see there, uh, there really isn't too much protection there on the lip. Uh, pretty minimal protection on this one. But this is a very well fit case. It's extremely uh, slim and extremely sexy. So I do like it for that aspect. Um, it's, it makes the phone feel really nice. So let's take that off. Now here we go. We do have the Spigen. I do want to talk a little bit about pricing. This case is $30 on Samsung's website at Best Buy on Amazon. And uh, you could get a couple different colors, but on Amazon, I can only find black. But that's fine because black looks really good. Now, the Spigen is a little bit different. Uh, it reminds me a little bit more of the iPhone cases that Apple makes. Pretty similar, actually. It has kind of like this textured kind of softness to it right here that you could see. Um, and the buttons are a little bit more uh, pushy there. There's a little more resistance, whereas this is pretty flimsy, as you could see here. Pretty flimsy. This, there's definitely like uh, more resistance here. Uh, the, the, the Velcro kind of quality, or not Velcro, but kind of soft uh, texture quality, microfiber maybe, um, it kind of goes up more into uh, the, the kind of silicone quality there of the case. Um, but this case definitely has more protection on the bottom. As you can see, there's definitely more lip protection here uh, than the other case which doesn't really have anything at all. Uh, here's a good comparison. You can kind of see. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of difference there. But let's go ahead and put it in, show you what it looks like. So here's the kind of the bottom part of it. As you can see, much more protection there uh, than this, the other case. That's going to cause a little bit of a lip here when you're kind of trying to swipe. Um, so as you can see, it's a little bit trickier there to swipe because of that lip. It's not too uh, substantial though. It's pretty kind of flippy there. But as you can see here, it's a little bit more substantial, a little bit more protection alongside the sides. So with this big in case, it does have that lip here for protection. And I think the lips 
kind of like around the edges are definitely going to offer it more protection than the Samsung uh, branded case. This one it definitely has a more thick factor to it. Uh, we could even kind of compare it side by side. You could see that it's a, a little bit thicker. It feels more meaty. It's, it's about as good as comparison I'm going to get. It feels more meaty. It feels like there's more kind of stuff on the back here. It's definitely thicker uh, from the top as well. You could get a good idea kind of just looking at it there. So which one do you want? This one costs $13 and it's going to offer you more protection. In terms of the grippiness factor, I think they're actually, uh, whoop, turn my Bixby flashlight on, turn that off. In terms of the grip factor, I would say they're pretty comparable. They're Pretty much had the both the same exact texture both have pretty much the same look this one's going to offer you quite a bit more protection than this one it is going to add a little bit more weight to your phone whereas this one is going to be uh pretty much twice or more expensive but it's going to be have more of a sexy kind of look and feel to it personally i'm not really sure uh which one this one definitely has more protection which kind of makes me want to use it more and it's a better value but this one definitely makes the phone feel sleeker and a bit more uh, kind of sexy, you know, has more sex appeal. So which one do you guys want? You want the one that offers more protection and is cheaper, but adds a little bit more bulk to your phone, but still has a good grippy factor? Or do you want the one that's more expensive, made by Samsung, has a good grip, and it's a little bit more slender and sleek, but doesn't offer as much protection and is more expensive? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, and I'll see you again very soon.